what I might do, because this is his brother's hat, right? Yes, awesome. yes. So um, he definitely has made a connection. Do you have any other objects at all, or did you bring any? He did. OK, cool. I'll hold on to yours okay. real quick, and we'll see if we can pick up. Thank you. OK. Um, where am I going? Your side of family, I have to talk about your father. Now, when he comes across, he's very to the point, very direct with me. <laughs> the way this is coming across, he's not necessarily going to be one to show me a lot, but I think what he will show will have a lot of significance. But the feeling is like, when they talk, we're going to really take what they say into consideration. And he's a funny man, because he finds this entire thing, like, he would be thinking it's a load of bulls. And so he's funny when he comes across, he's like, wow, I did not expect this to be real. <laughs> it's a funny thing. I'm Laban. Yes. My dad was very direct, to the point. He didn't sit around and talk. He didn't gossip. He didn't talk about someone else. But when he said something, it stuck. And Tyler touched on that, that this guy, this man that's coming through is someone who didn't say a whole lot, but when he did, people listened. That was my dad. Um, but he is bringing me to cancer. And this is actually helpful, because he's bringing me to cancer. He's talking about a progressive spreading. And he is having me acknowledge this feeling before he passed away of a denial when it comes to uh, breathing assistance. He, at the end of his life, is showing me that he took off this mask and was trying to take it off, and that this is a memory that's almost traumatic. And he's like, that's not me. That's not me anymore. No, I'm OK. Like, I'm OK. But it would have been a memory that's just there for this person and the feeling is like I'm fine like that's not that's not what you have to worry about he knew that he was ultimately given this permission to be able to transition and he was so thankful for this and it seems to be like it seems like an extraordinarily difficult situation obviously all deaths are hard this situation there's some decision making there's some he didn't want certain decisions to be put on the family and it's even in the context of after his death as well. And it's like, I wish I would have gotten this lined up a little earlier so I could have been prepared, but I wasn't. Because like, the doctor came in and Todd had to make the decision because right. he was, he was basically hemorrhaging. Mm -hmm. And so it was causing him to right. you know, lose consciousness and Todd had to say no more. Right. And he had to make that decision right. that they weren't gonna keep giving him blood. Sure. And from this perspective, I mean, this feels honestly like a release. It's, it's a freedom. There's a feeling of like, this is something that gives me peace because now I don't have to suffer and I can let go. But it seems to be the hardest decision of having to decide, you know, do we keep him in this state or do we let him go and be peaceful? And he is so happy that he was let go physically because that's no quality of life. And he always said quality <laughs> over quantity and the feeling is like, he I did. need to have quality. Mm -hmm. He did say that. And he is thankful for this, for, for being able to do that. He just would not have wanted his children to have to make the decision. The feeling is like they should not have to make that decision. And he is sorry that that was a decision that had to be made. But he is not mad. He's OK with this. He comes through just very proud for the strength that was required to do this. So please know that. I've struggled, um, you know, with having to say that, you know, it's OK for him to go. Because in my heart, I did not want him to go. And when Tyler said, um, I appreciate you giving me the right to go, that was from my mother. Mm -hmm. And I was holding his hand, and my mother was holding his other hand. And uh, we both told him, Daddy, go on. You've struggled enough. And literally, from within five to seven minutes of us telling him that, he took his last breath. And that was the end of it. And he went very peacefully. So for Tyler to say that my dad said, thank you for giving me permission to leave, that right there is worth more than anything you could ever give me. And I know it might seem like a basic message, but I just want you to know your dad is so proud of you. He really is. You far exceeded any expectations or hopes or dreams of anything that he could have ever had for you. You did that and more, so you make him proud every single day. Um, okay. Do you know the three brothers are anywhere in your family? The three brothers, three brothers, my three boys, three boys, three boys. Because I feel like I have to talk about around my boys. Um, I have two brothers. Great. So you'd be one of three. And there's a feeling basically of a magnet. He's having me bring up 
two <laughs> being on one side and one being on another, and he's kind of separating it. <laughs> I have a brother that passed when he was an infant. Yes. So that would be his way of referring as the two being here and the one. So they're together. Yeah, and that's really important for you to know that, because that's been a question. And your dad wondered that too in life. I wonder he did. Um, he is, would be with his, like, of the three boys, he'd be with the one that passed. But um, there's another, actually, interestingly, another baby he's with. There would have been a, a baby or a child that was not able to be born fully, but there's a situation of either, like, a miscarriage, a stillborn, or a child that passed. To your father, he's with two, not just one. So please know it's important. It's more personal in the way it comes across. He's having me acknowledge that loss of his son was hard for him, but his feeling is like this other miscarriage, or this loss of this baby is more difficult personally. And that's yeah. kind of the feeling that comes through. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he wants you to know that, that he's with that child as well. No one knew about the miscarriage except Julie and myself. It was unbelievable that no one knew about that my, except our family, Julie. And I. We've literally, never told that to this day. We never shared it with anyone. Never shared it with the soul. You know, even um, afterwards, our you know doctor even called me and said, you know, it was a little girl. It was a little girl. And for us to know that my dad is with my brother and with our child that is not here and never made it here um, is. It's a level of peace that you can you can't mm -hmm. buy that kind of peace. Uh, whose ring was this? My dad's. Nice. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> you are not full of <laughs> 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 So I'm going to do exactly what I said I would do yes. for you. Mm -hmm. I believe you know. Good. I'm a believer of Tyler. Good. I don't know that I'm a believer of everything, but I can tell you that you've hit on things today for Judah to come here and get the level of peace that she, because you gave her what she came here for. I'm so Whether glad. you know that or not, you gave yep. her what she was looking for. I'm so glad. And for that, we're very blessed. Aww. So I thank you. Thank you, guys. You know, I watch your show enough to know that you don't recognize people. Right. <laughs> and knew... he's now admitted that he watches the show. I love it. Yeah, Before well... it was only me. <laughs> <laughs> We've turned him. That's it. <laughs> I just think that I'm so grateful to you for forcing me to come here. <laughs> and I would say that if you have a question, come to Tyler for the answer. <laughs> it was everything that I thought it was going to be. And then for Todd, who was so against it, it completely turned him around, so I think it... And there's been people trying to turn me for years. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, Tyler did it. <laughs> that was crazy. You know I came here not believing. I know. But there's no way he could have known about the miscarriage. He could have not have known about Daddy taking that mask off. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have known about Trey and Harvey and the electrical thing. I know. There's just no way he could have known that. That's crazy. It's so crazy. as bad as I hate to admit this, I was wrong. And that's the first time. I, I'm not even going to say I was, was wrong, because that's hard for me to get out. But I mean, I'll just say that I was misinformed. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad we did it, though. Uh, I am, okay. too. Mm -hmm. I love you. Bye.